Uh, welcome to the Frederick Collection of Historical Grand Pianos. We are located in Ashburnham, Massachusetts, about 55 miles northwest of Boston on the New Hampshire border. Since the fall of 2000, the collection has been located in the town's former library building on Main Street next to Town Hall. There are about 24 playing grand pianos here, mostly from Vienna, Paris, and Leipzig, with a few from other musically important uh, centers. Uh, in normal times, we are open and available to the public. Uh, the collection was put together for a special purpose. We have something today we call classical piano music, and it's a repertory that covers about 250 years. And we normally play it on the kind of piano we use today. It was originally written for a large variety of instruments, all of them different from what we use today, some of them very different. Uh, these instruments often explain things that today seem awkward or uncouth in the music, but in fact were perfectly all right on the instruments it was written for. They provide some uh, beautiful possibilities which are different from what you would hear in a normal modern recital. In other words, these pianos have all been uh, selected for their connection to important music. In showing these instruments, we start from the modern end for two reasons. One is that uh, we start with pianos that are recognizably similar to the ones today, although obviously not the same. And that is to protect people from culture shock. The other reason we start from the modern end is that uh, we're not about progress. All of these pianos have their own particular excellences and merits and whatnot, and they provide something special for the music. And that's what we're concerned with here. The piano in, in the first group, uh, we're in the room where we would be starting, are almost all overstrung pianos for music such as Rachmaninoff and Debussy, Then we go to the parallel strung instruments in the next room. Now the parallel strung instruments are not necessarily older, but they do are a different construction. And they are for music by Debussy, Ravel, uh, Brahms, and late Liszt and such. And from there, we go back to the pianos of the mid-century, 1840s, 1850, music by Chopin, um, Schumann, Liszt, pianos made by such uh, makers as Erard, Pleyel, uh, Bisendorfer, and Streicher. And still earlier, we go back to about 1830 with pianos for late Beethoven, Schubert, early Chopin, and Schumann, uh, pianos by Bisendorfer, Trindlin, and Graf.
Finally, we get to the beginning of uh, a collection in the other direction, pianos from about 1790 to 1810. These are pianos by makers uh, Katolnik Brodman, uh, an anonymous piano, and Clementi. And it's for the music of Haydn, Mozart, Beethoven, and Clementi. Uh, in addition to tours and demonstrations for individuals, groups, and small classes, we present, in normal times, two kinds of concerts. Those at the Ashburnham Community Church, which can comfortably seat about 130 people. In those concerts, we use one piano with matching repertory, sometimes uh, uh, assisted by uh, instruments or a uh, human voice. The other concerts are at the study center. Because of space limitations, we can only put in about 25 or 30 people. Those concerts sometimes do involve more than one piano. I would like to emphasize that the purpose of our concerts is to present music in a way that is exciting and beautiful. The use of historical instruments is a means to an end, not an end in itself. The particular instruments offer particular beauties not available uh, otherwise. Uh, we, uh, a number of our uh, concerts have led to recording sessions, and we have recordings uh, available of such things as the complete Beethoven uh, sonatas for violin and piano, uh, the Debussy preludes, Brahms short piano pieces, uh, a three-disc set of Chopin, uh, all played on pianos of the period. In other words, the Debussy is played on a Blutner because Debussy had a Blutner, and the Chopin is played on a Playel, which was the make that Chopin favored. And the Beethoven sonatas are on a variety of Viennese pianos uh, with a violin with got strings and an 18th century uh, bow. Uh, we also have the um, Schumann, uh, uh, both, well, we have both Schumann piano trios, one D minor and one G minor by Clara Schumann, as well as her husband's trio, uh, done with an 1846 Streicher. Uh, so we have a variety of these available and uh, if you come and like anything, why you can take it home with you. We have received over the years a fair amount of media recognition. Uh, we have been, we, there was an article about our earliest uh, attempt at a concert uh, where we got, were written up in the New Yorker, had a full length article. We also have been written up in the Boston Globe um, and uh, we have also been written up in various more specialized publications, Clavier Magazine and such, as well as Early Music America. We um, are perhaps, we've had two TV uh, coverages. The short one was on uh, Chronicle uh, a few years ago, and the other one most people will probably not see but it was on Chinese public television with uh, Sheng Yuan uh, demonstrating the pianos here. And then it was edited uh, back in China so that you could hear him play the same music both here and on the Yamaha in the studio there. We got a very nice uh, write-up in the New York Times uh, which came out um, on Thanksgiving after 9-11. And we had people coming here for years who had kept that article because they were hoping to eventually get here, and they did. Mm -hmm.